All right, and we're back. Happy September again to everyone here, and happy weekend coming up here. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Just three topics to get into today. So one, I'll go through my usual. One tip for weight loss, one tip for teaching. Uh, number two, I'll talk about 2016. So that was really the uh, one of the few good years for me, the last few. So I'll talk about 2016, just some interesting things that happened in that year. Uh, number three, yes, to get fully booked, and I am mostly fully booked most of the weeks, thankfully, I do teach full time, and I'm going to give you my top five anyways to get you fully booked. It works for me, maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't, I don't know, but you can see what you think with that there. So let's get into it. First on tip for weight loss, let's start with that first, and as I mentioned, I was 210 pounds, I'm now just under, a little under, a buck 80, and yes, I do run, but I use the these tips there also for the most part. So the tip is find a way to get out and exercise for 30 minutes a day. <laughs> Whatever that is, walking, biking, and it doesn't have to be the same every day, but find a way. Just put it into your schedule. Maybe it changes what time you do that. Maybe it doesn't, but just find a way to exercise. Do something early in the morning, Maybe not for VIP kid classes, but maybe after or at night, whatever. Just try and find a way. If you can find the same time every day, even better, because then it's just into your schedule. So a little bit of exercise, vitamin D, as I mentioned before in the last video, very important. The tip on teaching, use that blank slide. So that blank slide there at the end of every lesson, it's so important to use that as much as you can. So what I use that for are a few different things. So if we need to go over something a little bit more, I'll jump over to it and I'll come back. Or maybe at the end, if I've got extra time, I'll review something they had trouble with with that blank slide. I'll also, for those younger kids, maybe help them spell their name on that blank slide, put little slots to help them spell their name. I'll use it for the C-H-S-H-S-O-X for E-S, what uh, we need to work with for ES, the endings. So lots of different things, grammar, use that. It's a great way to just break away from the lesson. And I think parents love it also and the kids retain, I find much better if you do use that. So that's my tip for teaching. Okay, on to 2016. So as I mentioned, the last three years, hasn't been the most fun and I don't want to dwell on negative let's just stay positive here 2016 was a great year and it was a great year for a lot of different things as you know my political views I am a Trump supporter <laughs> and let me just quickly side note onto this so as you know in the last week or so I came out with a video on 2020 I think will be a spiritual revival and I just want to show you the stats on YouTube here which I find quite funny so take a look what I've circled in red so this is the video I had 118 views of this video and so far and look at those subscribers I lost I lost four subscribers so you can see by other ones I usually get you know three four five subscribers each video well People didn't like my spiritual revival call, I guess, in 2020. Anyways, I found it quite funny. Will that stop me from doing those videos? No, sir. I will keep coming with them. I don't care. Subscribers, you want to leave? Go ahead. If you don't like that call, that's fine. But anyways, I found that quite funny. So just sidetrack from there. So 2016 was an interesting year and staying with politics anyway. So you'll look back to when Donald Trump, and as you know, I am a Donald Trump supporter. He secured the nomination for the Republican Party on July 19th, 2016. So that was a very interesting year. And of course, we know he did win the election. And for VIP Kid, just even segueing with them, VIP Kid, obtained the most money ever two weeks just after Donald Trump was elected. So they all happened around the same time. I guess good things come in bunches, I guess. And maybe you don't like if Donald Trump wins. Uh, but anyways, but yes. So VIP Kid, between when they started, which I think was 2013, when they sort of, I guess, officially started, and up until 2016 in August, they had obtained $25 million. And then, so on August 3rd of 2016, they got a hundred million dollars. So they got a big investment. So they really took this 
big time at that point, which I guess just sort of coincidentally came just after Trump was elected there as well, when they got a lot of money there for it, and they've been going strong ever since. So anyways, good things come in bunches, I guess, with that part. But 2016, it was a good year all around for Donald Trump, I guess, if you like him, and for VIP Kid also. Okay, on to now the main topic of the video, which is fully booked. And yes, I'll give you my top five ways to get you fully booked. Before I get into that, please bang on that like button, bang on that subscribe button. I do appreciate you subscribers. We're trying to get to a thousand. We've got a long road to hoe here yet, but thank you subscribers. I do appreciate that and you likers out there also. So my top five ways to get fully booked and let me flip over my notes here. So no particular order, but these work for me. Number one anyways, rewards. Rewards, 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 and games. I still stick to that with my games. I've got about six or seven that I rotate. Every reward I have is a game. And I'll put that at the end there, uh, video for you to take a look at. I go through all of my rewards. They're all games. I'll link it up at the end there for you to take a look at. So that's the key thing with, with the rewards is that if the kids want to go to class and if you give them a good reward, they just might, then the parents love that too because then they don't have to yank Johnny and say, get to class. They actually might want to. Now, they may still not want to even with a good game, but it doesn't hurt. So rewards. Number two, you care. <laughs> So that comes down to just simply that you care about the students, you want what's best for them, and you just go all out each class for it. So that's through your praise, your facial expressions, that you're not in a rush as best you can, and I know that takes time, but just that you're there um, and supportive of them. That goes a long way in making them feel comfortable, the parents feeling comfortable also. Number three, and I'll first mention to my last one, number five, you probably will not like. Okay, number three, you won't like this one either, probably. Stand up in class. I'm telling you, stand up in class. It's so important for your energy, for your body language, everything. And that flows through as simple as standing up in class. And I know it's not fun. You need a foam pad underneath your feet so your back does not ache. You need something foam underneath, but stand up. Oh, I, that as I mentioned before, I keep beating that one, but that's my top tip, stand up. Number four, scaffold. And what that means, as we know, is you need to customize each class for each child. And I go, I know that no goes without being said, but just that you scaffold down when you need to scaffold down, you scaffold up when you need to scaffold up, you customize, you follow the kid down their rabbit holes. Now again, you need to, you can't go too long, but if they take you down a rabbit hole with a toy or whatever, go down it with them. So don't be so scripted that you're afraid to go down those rabbit holes. Now again, you need to watch your time management, but follow them down those rabbit holes. It'll customize that class even more. And the last one, as you know, you will not like this one here. I always get up now at, for me, 12.55, so that's a.m., before the actual frenzy starts. And that gets me more new students because I don't let my existing students take those great slots. And they can still find my schedule. I still give them ample time. I put in my feedback what time my schedule opens so they know if they really want to book me, they can get in there first. I don't, it's not a mystery. I say in my feedback, I open my schedule. So do that as well. Make sure you put in your feedback. But be there for the booking frenzy. Bypass the pre-booking frenzy. That is very important. And I'll just show you my stats to close here. You can see my stats. So I've taught 457 students. So the more students you teach by bypassing the pre-booking frenzy, that just allows you to teach more students because the new students can then move in to the good slots and that will help you get more new students. So you may not like getting up at that time. I know that's not for everyone, but if you really want to increase your bookings and be fully booked, that is a great way to do it. So there are the five things. Let me know what tips do you like? Uh, please leave them in the comments. Please like, please subscribe. Best luck as you get back. Brick and mortar teachers there. All the best and have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.